as property values go up, property costs go up, it's harder for uh, every, everyone to find housing that is affordable. Housing studies by the city show a need for at least 28,000 units of affordable housing. And home ownership in Cincinnati, nearly 39%, well below the national average of 65%. Vice Mayor Jan Michelle Lemon Kearney says the city is in crisis. I was really shocked. I didn't, I didn't know that we were that low. And I can tell you in the black community, it's even lower. This newly formed housing advisory board that will oversee a $57 million fund is hoping to change the housing picture in Cincinnati. To address the housing needs of um, very low income people, you need subsidies and government programs that are well established in our community that are filling gaps. The city is committed to putting $7.5 million into the housing fund. Plans to continue funding on an annual basis with potential end of year surplus funds from the budget. The funds in part will be used for housing loans and grants. Vice Mayor Kearney is holding separate housing workshops to educate citizens about paths to home ownership, including a program described as renter's equity, where tenants put in sweat equity. They help with cutting the grass, they help with, with uh, trash collection, they help with repairs, they help with cleanup. And, and in return, some of their rent money goes into a savings fund for them that they could use for a down payment on a home, they could buy a car, they could you know, maybe help send their kids to college. Yeah, that's pretty interesting, this uh, renter's equity program. And again, that's just one of many. I mentioned that uh, workshop. This week, they held one over in Price Hill. Next week, next Wednesday evening, uh, they will be holding one at the Evanston Community Center. And so if you are interested, there are banks that will be out there. Uh, I encourage you to go out there and participate in that program. Reporting live, I'm Curtis Fuller, WLWT News 5.